So in this video, we're going to show how to populate the uh, core component um, carousel component. So you can see right here, we've already dragged the component onto our experience manager page and we're hovering over it. So at this point, it's not populated with any um, data or any images. If we open up the dialog, we can see we have an add button and it's allowing us to drop other um, components onto it. However, at this point, we do not want to use this dialog to add any images. So what we want to do is add some of these assets to our carousel components. So we can see that we have um, this detailed header PNG. We want to add that. We want to add this Lego 2 PNG. And then finally, we want to add this wood PNG. So to add these um, assets to our carousel, what we want to do is switch to components then drag the image component onto this um, carousel component. So notice that um, the image pops up and then we have next and previous. At this point, notice there's one dot. These dots will reflect the number of images dropped onto it. So as we drop more and more images onto the carousel component, you'll notice that more dots are added. So notice that we have our empty image component. We switch back to our assets. We can um, scroll to the first image we want, which is detailed header. Simply drag it on. There's our, um, there's our asset showing up in the carousel. Switch back to the components view. Drag another image onto it, so right above would be a good place. Make sure it's in the carousel component, not below or above it. So now notice there's a second dot showing up. This is good. This means that the image has been added to the carousel. Switch back to the assets, get that second one we want. So in this case, we're gonna get Lego 2, drop it on. And then finally, add another image. So we'll go here, we'll drop it right above Notice a third um, dot appears. Go back to our images, grab the wood PNG, drop it on. So now notice that we have three dots, three images. So we can um, click previous. Actually, let's put this in the preview. Click previous. Oh, we can see the um, image change. Click previous again. There's Lego. So now we have three. Um, images in our carousel and this is now we're back into edit mode we're going to take a look at the dialog so let's make sure that we're in um, the carousel component that's shown up here click the wrench icon we have our dialog so what we can do is we can order these they're similar to a multi-field so we'll grab this grab it to the top click the um the done button you can see our image changes so that's one way to uh, modify the carousel after you've populated it Switching back to the dialog again. We go under properties. We can see uh, this checkbox. So it's going to um, automatically transition slides. So we'll click this. It's going to give us a delay. So we can let's lower our delay to um, say 2000 milliseconds. So now that we've um, set our, our milliseconds, to determine how fast the uh, carousel changes, we want to view it. So to view it, we click on the page information button and then scroll down and click views published. Now you can see that our carousel is changing images and it's working exactly as it should. So this concludes today's video on how to work with the Adobe Experience Manager carousel core component. Thank you for watching.